great. Uh, Professor Tim Richardson asked me to give some thoughts about first mover advantage and just provide one opinion on what makes a great first mover success story and what are the situations under which being first to market is not sufficient. So um, I'm going to put geographic going to market aside for a moment and just talk about first to category market with entry offerings. And a lot of times it's successful, so some examples, the first major fitness retailer that's focusing on yoga wear like Lululemon, or the first human-only circus, uh, Cirque du Soleil, the first serious athletic shoes based on performance and truly performance, Nike, the first undergarment that uh, claimed a performance enhancement, Under Armour, uh, Disney animated films, Oshkosh rugged children's clothing, Tilly rugged hats, IBM computer consulting, the first warehouse club, Costco price club, the first heavy duty helicopter, Sikorsky, the first um, altering vehicle, Jeep, the first snowmobile, Skidoo. So all those are examples of companies that have managed to maintain, maybe there are some slight changes in ownership, but maintain that uh, premier brand position years and sometimes decades after first inventing or pioneering a category. Then there are examples of companies that have moved into a market and held that position first mover advantage for some years, uh, such as Douglas Passenger Aircraft, the original gaming companies, Commodore, Atari, uh, Blackberry, who invented the smartphone and held that for a decade, Lee and Levi's Jeans that had their, uh, their run as number one for many years, and the first multifunctional software, so Wang Word Processing, Harvard Graphics, Graphics uh, Package, uh, Lotus 123 Spreadsheets. They held the, uh, the line for quite a few years before an integrated suite took over. But there are also first movers that are losers. So the 1960s satellite phone companies, the 1970s car phone manufacturers, the early search engines such as Netscape, the first home computers such as Timex and Sinclair uh, and Commodore. Uh, the first cassette players, the first mini cassettes, the first dictaphones, the first VCRs, the first laser discs, the first CD systems were all invented by Philips. And if you try to find out what Philips market share is in any of those categories now, you'll probably find it's negligible. They tend to invent a category and then lose eventually. And the first tablet, I owned the, an HP TX1000, and it was uh, um, in 2006. It was a tablet uh, many years before its time. Uh, the first Echo Green Cleaner, just simple green. So the lesson learned is, in my opinion, that uh, first movers are often successful if they have the right resources and skills and team to not only break into the market and invent that new product, but go forward to success uh, and hold the landscape in the face of changing key criteria. So good companies assess that criteria changing. Disney goes from hand-drawn animation to computing animation. Uh, Nike goes from wedge shoes to new types of designer shoes and new brand specific Michael Jordan shoes. When they sense the landscape is changing, they invest in knowing how the landscape is changing and shifting accordingly. Uh, losers don't. So that's my uh, analogy and uh, examples in the first mover advantage. Thank you.